Hey guys, Mark DeRosa here. Welcome to the show. We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Ought to be a good one here between the Chicago Cubs and the Oakland A's. Digging in, Ian Happ. He'll get us started in this one Getting under the lights. The, the center fielder, number eight, Ian Hat. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. This one's outside. Quite a bit off the plate that time. Seven o'clock. Chased a bad one there. One and one. And we could be in for a cold one tonight. 52 degrees at game time, but should see the 40s before we're through. Hap with a two and one count now. And this will miss as well. So he's in danger of losing the leadoff man here tonight. It's three and one now. Now time is asked for at home plate and granted by the umpire back there, Earl Hendricks. And it's up to a three two full count now. Might have been taking all the way right there. That pitch couldn't have split the strike zone any better. And you can bet he wants that one back at the plate. Slider strike three called as the leadoff man is set down looking to open up the ball game. That exactly. So one away here with the bases empty. And Wilson Contreras digs in at the plate. Tried to check it and it's 0-1. One out, nobody on. Oh, and he's got him in the palm of his hand now. It's 0-2. Real ugly 0-1 swing there. As a pitcher, you've got to be hunting for the strikeout knowing you have this guy way off balance. One, two. Way outside. One and two. That's popped up. Mengden is there for it. Two gone. 
So that bases are empty here with two gone. Base, and that brings in Anthony Rizzo. Anthony. Infield in Rizzo. the overshift here. Now the pitch. That's inside ball. The 1 0. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2 0. Two balls, no strike. And here's a fastball for a strike. Two and one now. Two and one. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Center fielder going back. And he makes a nice catch on the track as that ends the inning. Digging in now, Ramon Laureano. It lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The better fielder. Now here's the Number pitch. 22. Nope. Ball. Well. Wow. No, that bit. Two and oh. That's the ball. Well, he was definitely looking fastball Three here, and he first. got one. But that was good discipline to lay off and get himself this into a 3-0 count. And he takes ball four. So the leadoff man is on That's here second. in the home half of the Not first in a stop. scoreless ball game. Mark it. Give me yeah. He's set, and the pitch. Nice Starts ball. him out with a changeup for a strike. Nice job by the pitcher right there to establish himself back into the strike zone. Would have liked to have seen the hitter been a little bit more aggressive in that situation. Usually when a pitcher throws four balls in a row, that next pitch you could get super greedy right down the middle. Batting third, the first baseman, Matt. That'll bring Olsen. up the power hitter, Matt Olson, as he'll try to hold back on the swing, but he went around for the first strike. And it's quickly 0-2. Loriano over at second. Simeon at first with no outs. Swung on and missed. He didn't even come close to contact on a ball way out of the zone. One out. Batting four. So no, runners at first and second here with right. one away. And that'll bring Dang up the big-time power bat of right-handed hitter Chris Davis. Now a swing and a miss as they start him out on a pitch well inside for strike one. Got him to go after that one, and he's in a quick hole 0-2. Working for the punch out and the offering. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time. Out number two. That and that'll good. bring in Matt Chapman. Third base First player. pitch on Matt. its way. Chapman. And oh, this one's by him to the backstop. So now two men in scoring position. Second and third, two away. Into the corner and slicing foul. And a good two strike pitch, but he misses high one and two. Hey, textbook waste pitch right there. Does he go elevated fastball again or something slow below the zone? Struck him out, so they work out of the jam as he strands two men in scoring position. Second inning set to go, and standing in the outfielder, Kyle Schwarber. The left fielder, Kyle Schwarber. Here's the first pitch to him. Fouled off. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Swung on and missed, that's strike two. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Now at the plate, That's Chris it. Bryant. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Bryant. And that misses for ball one. This right-handed pitcher, his bread and butter is that two-seamer, and he loves to throw it inside. Good tailing action there. It's one and one.
One and two now as that one's fouled off. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. So bases are empty here with two gone. And with it comes Javi Baez to the plate. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And he's way off balance with the swing there. Hey, he's looking to punch out the side right here. And if this guy's going to do him favors and swing outside the zone, that's exactly what's going to happen. Tried to get him to go after the slider, but it's one and one. Hey, that's a nice take by the batter right there, but that's a non-competitive off-speed pitch. Got to do better to at least entice a swing. Two balls and a strike to Javi Baez. Two balls, one strike. Yeah. Called strike two as he locks him up two, there. Two. No score here as we play inning number two. Hot shot on the ground is short. Taken in by Simeon. Rolanda Olsen will take care of him at first and that ends the inning. Last half of the second set to go. And next Lee to hit is the catcher, eight. Austin Allen. The catcher, Austin. 4-1. Allen. Allen. A ball and a strike. One and one. Ew, is that ugly? You could probably throw anything out there to this guy. He'd swing at the Raza bag if you throw it up there. Two balls and a strike. Here's a ball for Rizzo over at first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And striding in to bat next, it will be Mark Canna. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. Swings through it for strike number two. Bottom of the second here with no score. Oh, and he dusted him off the plate that time. Some mind games being played now. It's one and two. I like that he tried to tie him up inside on that pitch, but it was a little bit of a risky situation because if you're off just a little bit, you can end up plunking a guy. That's the last thing you want to do when you've got a guy 0 and 2. And a full count for Cannon now. Three balls and two strikes. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. Batting eight. So bases are empty here base with two gone. Tony. And striding toward the plate to hit next, yeah. Tony Kemp. Weak roller right side. Scooped up. Throw to first in plenty of time, and his side is retired. Now at the plate, Victor Caratini. Leading off for the cup. The designated hitter, Victor. Harris. Here comes the first pitch. And he popped him up. Mengden is there. One pitch, one out. So the base is empty here with one away. And that'll bring up the multi gold glover, Jason Hayward. First pitch on its way. Swing and a soft liner. And that's the second out. So two are gone now in the Cubs half of the third. And standing in now the power hitting second baseman Jason Kipnis. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Sent in the air out to straightaway central. Loriano will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. Bottom of the third now, and up next, the outfielder Stephen Piscotti. The left fielder. Here's the first Steve pitch ben. to him. 
And he tries to hold back on the swing, but I think it would have been ruled a strike anyway. It's nothing in one. Rounded softly down the line toward first. But this will get foul for strike two. He's ready. Here's the 0-2 pitch. And a check swing. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. It's ball one. The one two. Grounded back up the middle. Baez has it. And there's one away. So one away here with the bases empty. One up next will be Ramon Loriano. First pitch hacking here, and that's the first strike. It's been more than two innings since this guy's allowed anyone to reach base. He looks pretty unbeatable on the bump right now. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing our score. Grounded down the third baseline. And there's out number two. So striding forward now, Marcus Semyon, a base hit in his first trip. Yeah, guys, still the only hit in this game so far. They've been pretty well shut down. Guys on the mound have really much controlled the whole outcome up until this point. And it's one and one. A shortstop behind with a one and two count. The one two. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. And that'll bring in the Pittsburgh area native Ian Happ. 0 for 1 after he took a look at strike three in his first plate appearance. Yeah, in today's game, certainly don't get completely reprimanded for too many strikeouts, but no one likes to go down looking. Expect him to be a little bit more aggressive at the dish this A.B. One ball and one strike to the Cubs' leadoff batter. That's taken up and in for ball two. Two balls, one strike. Here's a swing and a long drive high in the air and deep to center field. And he leaps and makes the circus catch. My goodness, what a play there. The Next to hit will be Wilson Contreras. He popped out in his first trip. Now the pitch. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. That's in there. And he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. job to spoil that one away and he stays alive he was looking for a swing and a miss breaker right there but left that one in the zone that got fouled off oh my this ball is crushed where will this one end up and gone an absolute bomb and that'll bring Anthony Rizzo to the plate Anthony Rizzo. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Now here's the pitch. Just one hit apiece for both of these clubs. Swinging a soft liner. And there are two away now. So bases are empty here with two gone. And next it'll be the left-handed power threat, Kyle Schwarber. And that's into the corner, a foul ball in right. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. 
nothing in two count and the pitch. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Loriano is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire. The Into the box, Matt Olson. He's set to lead us off in the home half of the fourth the inning. Baseman, Matt. A ball of no strikes. Olsen. And it's fouled away. A 1 1. Hit sharply on the ground. And that's through for a hit. Hap scoops it up. The batter, number two. Designated hitter. Chris Davis Chris. next to bat. Left Davis. field and deep. A ball that's carrying. On the warning track, he makes the catch. So a runner at first with one man gone. Up next, and up next, the power the third hitting third baseman, baseman Matt Chapman. Matt. Chapman. As a look, now the pitch. Swing and a miss at a first pitch changeup. Nothing in one. Hey, what a great pitch right there in a big situation to pull the string on that changeup. He knew that hitter was going to be super aggressive. Behind 0 and 2 now. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. No runs, two hits, and no errors in the ballgame for the A's so far. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Up next for open. Now batting, Austin Nick Allen. Nick. He got on Austin. top of one and was a ground out victim last Allen. time. Here's the first pitch to him. Tough to do much with that one, a swing and a miss. Man, that pitch had the look of a fastball. Straight changeup, and the bottom fell out of it. Strike swinging, timing a little off on that one. Ready with the 0-2. And a check swing here. Did he go around? No, says third base umpire Clyde Washington. It's ball one. The 1-2. One And he struck him out his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Here's Chris Bryant now. He'll start off the fifth in this one. The third baseman. Outfield shaded a bit to left center, the first pitch. Out in front of a fastball as this is ripped down the left field line. That's going to be a fair ball. And they're going to hold him to a single here as they do a nice job of getting it back in quickly. The batter, number nine, shortstop, Javier Baez. And that brings up Javi Baez. And a check swing here, but he clearly went around on a pitch that would have been a strike anyway. It's nothing in one. Line towards center field. Well, this is unfortunately right at him in center field as he takes it in for the first out. The back Into the box the now, back. Victor Caratini. Definitely. He popped out in his Victor first trip. Caratini. He's set. Here it comes. And he fouls this one off. Both teams with just two hits apiece thus far. Liner toward right center. That's his first base hit, making one for two now. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Now batting, the right fielder, Jason Hayward. Here's Jason Hayward now. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Here's the 0 1. Turned on down the line. And a reach, but it's by him as he couldn't quite get to that ball. He's in at second safely. As also on the play, a run comes now across to score. The second baseman, Jason Kipnick.
In is the second baseman, Jason Kipnis. And on the first pitch, he grounds foul. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. The 0 1 on its way. Ripped on the ground to first. Throw to the plate. And no chance on the throw here as he reaches first easily. Bases are loaded here with one away. And that will bring up the former first rounder and Pittsburgh area native Ian Happ. Has a look. Now the pitch. Started to go around there, but he holds up ball one. Two runs, four hits. No errors so far for the Cubbies. Fouled away. Now the one and one pitch. Oh. It often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. He's set and the two one pitch. Here's a big swing and a miss on the fastball two and two. Cutter and it doesn't make it back three and two bases are loaded here one man out pulled toward right center field Loriano is there let's see if they test it and there will be no advance here to wasted opportunity as the bases the remain the loaded with two away now Contrera. Looking to minimize the damage here. Come set. The 0 1. And no swing, apparently. Ball one. If he doesn't shorten his swing up right there, there's no chance he keeps his bat back. Now a swing and a miss, and he's behind one and two. One and two. Here it is. Hit the other way out toward right field. Kenna is there to make the catch, and they'll escape the bases loaded jam by giving up just one run. Set now for the bottom of the fifth and striding into to bat next it will be Mark Canna. The right Things fielder. not looking very good Mark. so far in this one, but we're still in the there middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Ready to deal. Here's the 1-1. One -one. Line drive, and that's a base hit in the center field. So a good start to the inning for the A's as their leadoff hitter reaches base safely. The batter, number five, second baseman, Tony. Yeah. Standing in now, Tony Kemp. Trying to bunt his way on base here, but this will roll foul. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Is put in play to the right side of the infield. A runner at first with no outs here. Pitch too high, and that's over the catcher's head. And it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. And that's going to move that runner into scoring position the now. Defense. As a look, now the pitch. And he pops it up back behind second base. Kipnis is right there to handle it, and there are two gone now. And that'll bring in Ramon Laureano. He was a ground out victim last time up. First pitch on its way. Tried to check it, and it's 0 1. Now a swing and a ball popped in the air back behind short, and Baez will put this one away to retire the side.
Ready now, Anthony Rizzo. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. Anthony Rizzo. Here's a high pop up. Olsen waits on it. One away. Ready once again. Kyle Schwarber. 0 for 2 Kyle. from him so far in this one. No balls and a strike to count. And he falls behind 0 and 2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. And this is swung out and missed. So it's two up two down to start the sixth inning. Now batting. Two away now for the Cubs in the sixth. And into bat next, former National League MVP Chris Bryant. This guy has been unbelievable. There were billboards outside Wrigley while he was still in AAA. And what does he do when he shows up? Rookie of the year, MVP. I mean, get in line. And there's nope, ball one. Ball. Two out, nobody on. A ball and two strikes now. One, hey, this pitcher better be careful right here. My man at the plate is not trying to push something to the opposite field. This is on the ground over to first. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and up next to Berkeley area native Marcus, Marcus Simeon. Marcus Simeon. First pitch coming, here it is. Big curveball swung on and missed 0 and 1. Now you could just see this guy out on the mound right here, just the body language. He knows he's on top of his game. Executing a nasty slider down the way right there, giving this offense no chance. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Schwarber is over toward the line a bit as he takes it for the first out. Digging in, Matt Olson, a hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. First offering on its way. And that's cut on and missed 0 1. Bases are empty, one man out. Swing and a miss, and he's quickly in the hole 0 2. Man, this guy's really pitched well so far, attacking the strike zone, and he's really kept these hitters off balance. But good hands over there at first, and that becomes out number now two. The designated Stepping hitter. Stepping into the box, Chris, Chris Davis. No hits Davis. and two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. Line towards center field, but this will not get down quickly enough as it's pulled in out there in center, and that ends the inning. Striding in, Javier Baez. He's grounded out and lined out in two trips. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. On the ground to third. Chapman's got it. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Digging in once again, Victor Caratini. Last time through was a base hit. Caratini. Out in front of it, strike one. On its way is pitch number 75. And he misses with it, one and one. I know he buried that slider in right there, but that's a dangerous pitch. If he doesn't pot commit and bury that inside, it leaks out over the plate. He can get hurt with that pitch. One out, nobody on. And another foul ball. The next one two pitch.
checked his swing there and did he go no he did not says the third base umpire ball two here now the two two there's a line drive out toward the gap in right center he's through first and hustling for second and he's in there easily at second with a one out double the batter the right fielder Jason Hayward. So that'll bring up Jason Hayward. And it's grounded just foul down the line. A hit and two tries for him so far. Swing and a miss, and he's in control. 0 and 2. Got to believe you're going to get some tough pitches in this count with the base open at first. This is where you have to regroup and find a way to get a good pitch to drive in that run. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Ready for another shot now. Oh, Jason the, uh, Kipnis. He reached on a fielder's season. choice previously. Kipnis. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Trying to keep the game close. Here's the pitch. Hit in the air out to right. Kenna will reach out with one hand to make Ladies the catch on the move, Green and that ends the inning. Now bidding stretch. So that brings up the always intense Matt Chapman. Leading off. Starting to eight. run out of time. They haven't been the able to score eight. any runs Matt. as we're moving late Chapman. into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. The 1-0. -oh. A couple strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat trying to get ahead and put himself in a good hitter's count. Too high. And it's 3-0. Hey, leading off an inning in this situation, three balls on you. You have to know that a solo shot's not tying this game up. You have to find a way to get on base any way possible. Doesn't want any part of that cutter, and it's full three and two. Line drive to left. And a dive in left, but he can't get it. It'll get by him toward the wall. And he will get there as the A's have themselves a leadoff double. Now batting. The catcher. Austin. Allen. Ryan Tapera comes on now, and he'll now take over with nobody out. out in inning number, number seven. Ryan At the plate, Tapera. Austin Allen. As he'll take strike one on the inside corner. A runner at second, nobody out. Behind 0-2 now. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. A swing and a miss on a ball way out of the zone, and there's one away. Now batting, right fielder. Runner at second, Mark. one away, and striding Canna. in the bat next, it will be Mark Canna. No contact on the sinker oh, there, and he's behind 0-1. A bouncer to the left side. Throw in time oh. at first for route number two. Stepping up now, Tony the Kemp, bat. 0 for 2 on the his line this far. Tony Kemp. First delivery to him on the way. Hit out towards second. Taken in by Kipnis. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. New inning set to get underway. And that will bring up the former first the rounder and Pittsburgh the area native Ian Happ. Ian Happ. Here's the pitch. On its way, the 0-1 pitch. 
And boy, this at bat is not starting off well as he's behind 0-2 now. I'll tell you, he just doesn't look comfortable in the box to me tonight. He's been off balance with his swings, and that one completely tied him up. Heading after it is Piscotti, but he won't get to it, and this should put him in in scoring position to start the inning. And he will pull into second with a leadoff double here to start the eighth. Up next to the top, the catcher, Wilson Contreras. Here's the young catcher, Wilson Contreras. And he'll swing and send a chopper to third. The tag, and he is out. But he'll put this in his pocket and be content with just the one out. The first base Anthony Rizzo stands in now. He Anthony was retired after Rizzo. popping out in his last at-bat. Yeah, I don't mind him trying to drive the ball in the air, but he can't collapse the backside, and that's exactly what he did in his last at-bat. Look for him to stay a little taller and keep that upper half a little bit more over him. He's going. Runners on the move for second. Pitch misses low. The throw down. It skips in and he's safe. Close play, but he's in there. Swing and the ball hit well to the right side, but this will get into the crowd. Ready on one and two. Weak rounder back to the mound. And that's the second out. So a runner at third. Now two men are out. The and that'll field. bring up the left-handed hitting Kyle Schwarber. Schwarber. Trying to keep the game close. Here's the pitch. Who started him with the change, and it's nothing in one. He struggled quite a bit at the plate in this one, so until he shows he can put a good swing on the ball, I don't think they're going to give him anything straight that he can Thank handle. Men on third with two down. Fouled off. Another 0-2 coming. That missed, that's the ball. So the intent of that 0-2 cutter right there isn't necessarily to get a swinging strike. If you get it, well, hey, that's great. But if you get it inside enough and he does make a swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul. So a missed opportunity there. The 1-2. Grounded softly to the right. Oh, behind the back. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And up next, the outfielder, Stephen Piscotti. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast? They could certainly use that right now. So the lineup flips over and digging in, Ramon Laureano. He flew out in his last at-bat. So a rather weak start to the at-bat as he misses badly there. It's 0-1. I always felt this was the toughest pitch for me to pick up. A good executed slider, and that's exactly what happened right there. You get an ugly swing. Ready on 0-2. And that one got a piece of him. So a runner at first now with one now away. Back. And up next, Not a Berkeley top. area native, Mark Marcus it. Simeon. Simeon. Now a throw over. A dive, but he's back. First pitch on its way. A ball and no strikes. And it's fouled away. Runner at first here, one man out. Ah. Called strike, and he's behind one and two. And a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. Now at the plate, now Matt back. Olson. He's first got a hit in three at bats Matt. to this point. Olson. Ladies and gentlemen. So with a left-handed hitter waiting, now they'll go to their own left-hander out of the bullpen. Number 38. First pitch coming. Here it is. Late swing there at the breaking ball. Must have been looking for something else. 
He's running. He swings and misses. Throw down. And he'll be tagged out at second base. Trying to get into scoring position, but instead the inning is over. All set to start the ninth in this one, and that'll bring up Chris Bryant. The third baseman, Chris Bryant. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And we kick off the ninth oh inning with a swinging strike here. Nothing in one. Well, he kind of tipped his hand right there. His approach is obviously sitting on the off speed because he was so late on that first pitch heater. Fooled pretty badly there as he reaches to poke this one foul. Breaks his bat as this one's popped up. Petit has a play, and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. So stepping in, Javier Baez. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. First offering on its way. Bases are empty, one man out. Is put in play to the right side of the infield. Fielded cleanly. And the off-balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. Next to bat will be Victor Caratini. Two for three with a double on his line so far. Jared Young will get the call to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out when the base is empty. Jared Young. Strike one to start the at bat. Bases are empty here with two men out. And a good idea to hold off on that swing. It's ball one. Young, a Canadian native. He's in his rookie year here at the big league level. And he fouls this one off. Swing and a miss got him reaching. And that ends the inning. Leading off the inning, Matt Olson, as they'll look to get Leading something going here eight. and even this game up. The first baseman, Matt Olson. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Now the 0-1. Little too much bite on the slider that time, taken outside. And a good swing there as this is deep down the line and right, but this is going to wind up out of play. You can definitely tell with that foul off right there that he's picking up spin on this pitcher's off-speed stuff. Maybe expect a fastball on this next one. And that misses there, so he runs the count full now. When you've got a guy that throws a good two-seam fastball, you have to be ready for him to try to run it inside and jam you. Good job to lay off that one, but I wouldn't be surprised if we see it again. Now time is called, and this might be to buy a little time for that reliever to get loose. Greg Kimball takes the ball now in inning number nine, looking to close the door. Number 46, Greg Kimball. From the stretch. Pulled high in the air out to left field. And this will be hauled in shy of the track for out number one as the runner will retreat to first. Coming to the plate now, Matt Chapman. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Now a big fastball, and he's well behind it with the swing. Swing and a miss, and he's in the hole 0-2 now. Go to that well one more time. He's been late on the first two. Looking to put him away. Here's the 0-2. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the now game. Back. The catcher. Coming to the Austin. plate now, Austin Allen. And he needs Allen. to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. Below the knees, one ball, no strikes. Bouncer up the middle. Throw on to first, and the ball game is over. 
Just more of the same from Craig Kimball. He comes out of the bullpen and fires a scoreless ninth inning to pick up the save. Business as usual from one of the best in the game. This evening's game finishes 2-0 the final score. Chicago took the lead in the fourth and held on until the end. Tyler Chatwood gets the W on the mound. Daniel Mengden pitched well, allowing only two earned, but ends up taking the loss. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show. Here now is the final line score tonight. First for the victorious Chicago Cubs. Two runs, six hits, no errors. They left five men on base. For the Athletics, no runs, four hits, no errors. They left seven men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 26 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please... Drive home safely.